This image of John Paul II is just a small part of a monumental sculpture. It was designed by Anna Gulak, a young painter and sculptor from Poland who broke ground in her early 20s. When she was only 22, she became the first Polish artist to collaborate with the Vatican. In the year around 2002, when I was um, when Cardinal Dziwisz, uh, the secretary of Pope John II, saw my first uh, works of sculpture, uh, he proposed to me, why don't you make a medal for, for, for John Paul II and we'll see. And I didn't know that making such a medal, because I'd never worked on a medal before, that there are a lot of well and known and recognized artists whose, whose, whose dream is to, 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 to make a medal for John Paul II. I wanted to do it not a normal, um, not a normal flat medal, but I wanted to, uh, to be more like sculpture-like, so I just kind of did this other form that uh, it was like a broken form, and um, and I wanted to show John Paul II on it that he was in the gesture of blessing. A special edition of the medal was released. In fact, John Paul II gave them away as gifts during his 25th anniversary as Pope. Those who worked with him in his international trips were among the recipients. The medals made their way through Poland, Chicago, and Canada. Now they can be seen in the Vatican's museums and also in several Polish museums. The artist didn't know it at the time, but these medals would later inspire her in an even bigger project, a project she would work on for seven years. Around 2003, after making a medal for John Paul II, I was kind of inspired. I uh, decided to sculpt him as the Peter of our times and in a, a figurative way, but also as abstract way, a symbolist way. He is um, emerging from the, uh, like, a block of rock. The end result is this project of roughly 2,100 square feet. She studied hundreds of pictures to get the one posture and the one expression that best represents John Paul II in movement. This is actually this monumental project is to be uh, has a destination to be somewhere outside, actually in a in a in a. I see it in a big city or where there's a lot of people passing by because the, the pouring water, the, 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 the project of the stairs around it, it has the symbol of a place where people can meet. John Paul II the Great for me. He was a great idol for everybody and he had great contact with the, Polish, uh, with the uh, young people and uh, he was a good example. For now, the monument is still looking for a home, so to speak, but without a doubt her collection is quite extensive. It includes these drawings, each about 10 feet long, of the now blessed John Paul II. She's now in the process of making new drawings of John Paul II, which will be part of an art exhibit in September in the Eternal City of Rome.